Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Today I'm going to do a little bit of fall decorating and the one place that I want to pay attention to is the little buffet that's in my dining room area. So you see I have this black vase and this vase was thrifted and then inside the vase I have a Dollar Tree cylinder vase. So I'm going to use the pompous grass and then I have some of these um beautiful um like corally type um orange burnt orange colored um like willows i guess that's what they're called like pussy willows or something like that and so what i wanted to first do i divided the willows into like halves and so i'm going to arrange it on the outer perimeter of the um dollar tree vase that's in the middle and then these stems here, I'm going to place in the middle of the cylinder of the Dollar Tree vase. Now, I did this because it really makes the vase look full, although it's not very full. And But you see how it kind of filled everything out. And so now I have our pompous grass. This pompous grass was picked up at um, Kirkland's. And so it's one stem, a large stem. I thought it was really pretty. After you feather it out, this is what it looks like, and I'm going to place that in the middle. And you see our arrangement looks so full and so lush. I love how the mixture of colors um, look together, and I think it looks so sleek and very like cosmopolitan in this um, black base. Very easy to make, did not cost a lot of money. Like I said, the base was thrifted, the, in, um, the inside base, the cylinder base was from the Dollar Tree. Very simple, um, simple DIY. So I'm going to take this mirror tray here and then I'm going to place our newly arranged um, piece here on the tray. And then, um, you know, just kind of um, fix it. You don't want there to be any gaps in the arrangement. So I'm just going to make sure that everything is um, nicely placed. And then we're going to go ahead and start building on this tray. So on this buffet, what you will see, you see the two large lamps. And then we have this centerpiece here in the middle. And because everything is tall, we need to bring the eye down, sort of like a triangle. I always talk about doing mm -hmm. things in triangle. So I have these leather pumpkins here. You guys have seen these. These actually um, with the gold stem are new, and those were the ones that were at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to mix them with some that I had from last year, as well as some smaller pumpkins, as you see here. And I like the different hues of the colors with the, the deep caramel color, and then like the lighter sort of like um, brown sugar type color. Really cute. <laughs> Now, another thing you might notice is when I do like my centerpieces or um, like vignettes, I like having things like tilted to the corner. I don't know. I just think it looks more visually pleasing. And so I have this glass pumpkin. You guys have seen it. It was one of my finds that I absolutely love. This one came from Target. Put a little LED candle inside and there you go. So. I like this because the light from the LED candle really flickers and it plays off the mirror in the glass, on the glass mirror in our tray. And then we're going to add a little bit of, of a floral element here. And um, this is just a pick. And I just place the pick underneath so that space won't be so bare. And there you go. Really easy to create, very elegant and it takes up the space here on the buffet, so the space won't be bare. I absolutely love it, and it flows very well with the other areas down in this space. So here's the last overview for you to see the space in its entirety. Tell me where does this roller coaster Reach your seat and stop the coasting Used to be fine 
with no destination Honestly, now I'm damn sick of it Looking up, trying to touch the surface Am I breaking through? No, it's just the same old guys so i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you're new to wani's house i would love for you to subscribe so go ahead hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads also come on over and check me out on my instagram you can find me over there at wani's house just like it is here hit that follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at wani's house all right, guys, so I'm about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.